Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is June the 28th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. Before I do that, I would just like to apologize to those who are counting on hearing a word from me every day. I have not posted for several days now, and I'd just like to inform all of you, because it is our summer season in Ontario, Canada, which is quite a short season, that my postings will be sporadic throughout the summer but hopefully will become more regular toward the fall. The word I'd like to share with you today is a very short one, but I would also like to share with you, for those who may be interested, in how the Lord has been directing me in the last little while. So please stay with me till the end of this video if you would like to hear about that. This word today is for everyone in that the Lord wants us to know what is on his heart. However, this word is speaking about the ministry that he is calling his people into, and not all of us may be involved in this type of ministry. And so for those of you who are, and for those of you who who may have been given a vision already from the Lord regarding this, I hope this word will encourage you that you are on the right track. This word today is titled, Revival Meetings. I'll begin reading the word. Have the workmen come in to remodel, to upgrade, I will release all the finances needed for the job, says the Lord. Build a city of refuge, for the time is coming when the fields shall be harvested and the grain gathered into the barns. I am releasing to you abundant finances. As they come in, designate them toward the work. I will house the outcast, the poor wanderer. I will supply every need. I will provide income for those who labor, and they shall eat the fat of the land. I am moving things forward, renewing vision, says the Lord. I will rekindle the flame that will burn to accomplish my purposes. The buildings will go up per plan. The grounds will accommodate the harvest. Revival meetings shall be held on the grounds. I will give the vision to those who must be willing to work along with my plan and my agenda. I shall transform the hearts of those who have withheld themselves. I will bring them to their knees and spell out to them what they must do. Do. The vision will be enlarged, says the Lord. The facilities will be made available. The whole scope of the ministry will be outlined in full. With the finances, build. Pour them into the work. I will destroy bureaucracy and red tape. Even now, I am bombarding it in the heavenlies, and you will see the results in the natural realm. Set up the ministry, revival meetings, youth service, youth camp. These will all take place on the grounds. Watch to see how I begin the work. I have put the stakes in, in the spirit, and I will bring the building to completion in the natural. Prophesy these works into existence. Call in the finances. 
I have set the scene, says the Lord. Those who thought they could gain success by human efforts will be amazed when they see the erection of the center as a fulfillment of the word of God. They will be cut to the heart, for they had no idea of the power of the living God to accomplish his works in the earth, using vessels unfit for the ways of the world, but fit for use in the kingdom of God. In this word today, the Lord is speaking of buildings that he wants to build, of a revival center, a place where people can gather and the ministry of Christ will take place. He speaks about revival meetings, of youth services and youth camp on these grounds. And he is saying that he will supply all the resources, all the finances needed so the buildings may go up as per his plan. As I mentioned, this word is specific to those who have been given a vision by the Lord for this type of ministry, of hosting revival services and providing a place for people to come and to receive the ministry of Christ. The Lord is calling this place a city of refuge where those coming into the kingdom of God can have their needs provided for as he brings in the harvest. If you are called to this ministry, if you are being called to build these buildings and a city of refuge, May the Lord encourage you today. May he give you insight and wisdom. And may he enlarge your vision for this work. As I mentioned earlier, I would like to share what the Lord has been leading me into recently, which may or may not be connected to this word. I have been watching videos on YouTube of Apostle Catherine Crick's ministry as well as Mark Heman's ministry, J-E-M, Jesus Encounter Ministries. Both of these ministries deal with setting the captives free from sickness, from disease, and from demonic activity in the lives of the people. Much of this ministry is geared toward Christians. These ministers the Lord has raised up carry a very strong anointing, the anointing of Jesus, just as the early apostles did. Their ministries are local, but they are also worldwide. And so it seems God has released a movement of his spirit into the ministry of Christ, which includes these works that Jesus did. If there are any of you who are interested in these ministries, I have left a link below in the description box. I encourage you to watch these videos and to learn of the strategy the Lord is releasing to do his works of setting the captives free. As I mentioned, this ministry of healing the sick and casting out demons may be connected to this word today. This is what revival looks like. This is why revival centers are needed. And this is why the Lord is telling us that revival meetings will take place in these places of refuge. May the Lord's will be done. May his kingdom come. May the ministry of Christ go forth to set the captives free. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon. 
and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.